Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I am bringing you tons of cleaning motivation. My house was a true mess. I have been doing a couple of upstairs renovations, so there will be no upstairs cleaning today, but lots of downstairs cleaning motivation for you. So definitely make sure you hit the like button if you enjoy this video. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe before you go. Let's go ahead and get cleaning. We are starting today's cleaning video in the kitchen as usual because this is the room in the house that is always the most messy. I usually try to keep it clean, especially right before I go to bed. I really like to have a clean kitchen when I wake up in the morning, but for the most part, I usually have a dishwasher to unload or things to put away. And this was right around the time that we had a hurricane here in Virginia. Well, it came through like a tropical storm, but Jack and I had gotten a bunch of snacks and things like that just in case. So there was tons of stuff all over the counter so definitely needed to take care of this stuff and put it away. Let me know what you guys are doing while you're watching today. I hope that you are cleaning along with me and tackling all of the things on your to-do list. just going to clean a few of these things here in the sink by hand and I was getting pretty low on dish soap this day and I have one more dish soap that I just opened up and that is my last one so I am getting very excited to start shopping on the Grove Collaborative for my new fall scents the Mrs. Myers fall scents just came out and I want to know what you guys think which one is your favorite I think they have the mum the pumpkin spice there's like an acorn one there may be a couple others I know that I haven't tried them all but if you have a favorite fall scent, then let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I'm gonna dry off these couple of dishes here that I washed by hand and then we are going to get to cleaning out my sink because when the light shines in my window like this, I find it the best opportunity to clean the sink because you can see every little bit of dirt that is in it. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing We're the wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, trip, trip Now, trip, trip, trip Oh, I flick the switch Kill the lights Oh, I wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight usually like to dry my sink out when I am done cleaning it just to make sure that I get every bit of residue and then I also like to wipe down the faucet because I don't do this very regularly and because my faucet is black it shows a lot of lime and water stains but also if I've touched the handle with food on my hands or something it always shows tons of dirt.
my kitchen window is one of my favorite windows in the house because I just love being able to look outside while I'm doing dishes and stuff, but I definitely cannot reach the top part of the window, so I did have to get Jack to help me reach the top part. And as we were cleaning the window, we noticed that the majority of the dirt was on the outside, so I am probably going to suggest that we tackle cleaning the outsides of the windows pretty soon. If you guys know any good tools or products for cleaning the outside of your windows, then definitely leave those in the comments so that I can do a video on that and share with you guys all of your recommendations. Cleaning my stove like this is definitely not something that I do every single day, but I do like to do it if I have cooked something that has spilled over and there are stains and stuff on it, but I do always wipe my stove down every night, at least the knobs and the buttons and stuff, because I feel like, especially with a white stove like this, it shows every little fingerprint. So I'm just going in with my Jaws kitchen cleaner and making sure that I clean all those up so they are nice and shiny. You gotta understand another culprit for fingerprints is all of my stainless steel appliances so i'm going in with my stainless steel cleaner just to shine these up I don't normally clean my kitchen counters this thoroughly, but on this particular day, they definitely needed it. And these plants here that I have in these mason jars, I had propagated from another plant in my house and they were just about ready to plant. And since I recorded this video, I have planted them. So I'll definitely have to make sure that I share how I did that in one of my next videos. I don't think that I had cleaned off this cake stand or my diffuser in a really long time either. I just sometimes forget about it, but I love this cake stand and diffuser and the way that it looks. I have seen so many different ways to style diffusers, and if there is a certain way that you style yours in your home, then definitely let me know how you do it in the comments because I'm always looking to change things up. putting a blend in my diffuser of lemon and eucalyptus and then we are going to finish this kitchen so we can move on to the bathrooms. When you see light, I tend to fade With city lights in your 
I'm just putting a few of my towels and microfibers in the washing machine because I knew this was a load that I wanted to do and I wasn't quite sure if I had enough and I didn't. So I know that I needed to go around and collect any rugs, towels, and things like that that I wanted to throw in the wash. And while I was in the bathroom, I went ahead and tackled the sinks and then the toilet. I'm just using the Jaws shower cleaner to wipe and disinfect everything. I had noticed that my faucet here was spraying water kind of weirdly so I figured that a couple of the little holes were clogged so I'm just using a little combination of baking soda and vinegar to kind of unclog it it worked a little bit but not as well as I thought it would so either I'm going to have to do it again or I'm gonna have to use some kind of other tool to scrub it since it's just kind of spraying everywhere and makes a big old mess but now we're going to move on to disinfecting the toilet I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can't hide So I was just thinking the other day that I had not made a video yet on my daily cleaning routine. So let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and letting me know in the comments if that is something that you would like to see. I feel like I just usually film my weekly cleaning routine more so than my daily cleaning routine. So I feel like that's something that I really like to watch. So I think it might be something you guys would be interested in as well. So let me know if that is something that you would like to see from me. I can carry all that you've got Two heavy hearts is not a lot I will put out a lot I'm going to finally throw in that load of towels and things as soon as I wipe down my washer and dryer. I usually have to do this once a week. This is my mud room and it's where I do my laundry so shoes get put in here and other things like that. So it's definitely a place I have to keep pretty clean. Also, my dryer was full of lint. I guess it had been a little bit since I had emptied that, which honestly I'm so bad about. And I know it's terrible because your house could literally catch on fire if you don't empty your lint trap, but I'm working on it. We all have things that we forget about. Speaking of lint, there's usually lint on the floor in here as well as dirt and things from shoes being stored in this room. So I'm just gonna give it a quick vacuum. I will come back and mop this space later when I get my mop out, but I'm just gonna kinda go around the house and spot check a few places that I need to use the vacuum cleaner. I don't always use the vacuum cleaner downstairs very often since I have a robot vacuum that takes care of the majority of things for me. But if you guys didn't know, this mudroom is actually a step up from my kitchen. So this is not a place that my robot vacuum can go unless I put him in here specifically. So a lot of times I will either just put him in here and shut the door and let him do all the work. But today I decided to get in here myself and get all of the nooks and crannies. I'm 
now going to vacuum in the living room and I usually do these small rugs first because one goes in front of my back door and one goes in front of the front door. So I'm just going to clean these really quick and then put them back and then we are going to vacuum the rug in here. I'm also going to tackle the perimeter because the robot vacuum has a really hard time getting up onto this carpet. So most of the area surrounding the carpet does not get touched by him either. to you here's your time to shine oh show me what you can do the way my hands feel on your body they we were dancing in the dark with every move i make you're falling the way my lips feel on your body the way we're moving in the dark with every breath we take you're falling Now is a great time for me to say thank you guys so much if you are still watching this video. Let me know if you are still watching by leaving an apple in the comments since school is starting again soon and I am going to be going back to my regular nine to five as a teacher. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it even though this year our school is going to be doing virtual learning. So it is a big learning curve for me for sure but let me know by leaving that apple emoji down below if you are still here with me. The way my lips feel on your body. One of the last things that I really like doing in my cleaning is mopping the floors. I always feel like I clean from top to bottom, so floors are always the last thing that I do. But I know that I have said it before, but I have to say it again because I genuinely love this mop so much. I don't know if it's just really great for the type of floors that I have or if it's just really easy for me to use, but it does both a really great job of making sure that my floors are really clean, but I also feel like it's so simple to use. All I put in here is some warm water and my Mrs. Myers concentrate. I have been trying a bunch of different scents. I think this one was the lemon verbena. I have also tried the honeysuckle and some other ones, and it just makes my home smell super fresh and clean, and I love that it is mostly non-toxic. If you were cleaning along with me today, I hope that you were able to tackle everything on your to-do list. And that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely make sure you hit the like button. And if you are not already subscribed, please make sure you subscribe before you go. I would love to have you. And I will see you guys again very soon with a brand new video. Bye guys. I'm a sucker for your love.